Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my current favorites. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to give you a quick update on my health, fitness, weight loss journey. So basically the long and short of it, I gained about 12 to 14 pounds over the month of December and January. And January, in the middle of January, maybe January 20th, I posted a picture of when I was in probably the best shape of my life. And I made a decision that I need to lose that weight and get ready for summer and just be healthier overall. Um, I'm not looking for any quick fixes or anything like that and I've lost about seven pounds since then. I posted a picture on Instagram um, when I started in January to now. Um, it's a little bit of a difference. My weight loss has probably been about one pound a week but that's fine with me because slow and steady is better than losing it really quickly and then gaining it back. So I just wanted to share a few things that I've been doing that have helped me along the way. Um, and basically it's just about making better choices, making this more of a lifestyle change. Um, I kind of let myself go and just had no willpower. I wasn't saying no to like donuts at work and candy bars and I was just choosing really bad snacks, just really not paying attention to what I was eating and that happens to all of us. Sometimes we get off track so um, it's time to get back on track and I wanted to show you what I've been doing. So basically I'm just going to start off from the morning. Um, Exercise really isn't a problem for me. I have always exercised. I haven't stopped ex exercising and basically it's more about what I eat. So that's really what I'm going to talk about today. When I get up in the morning, the first thing I do is drink a tall glass of cold water and I add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. This is the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. This is the one that you're supposed to drink. Um, when you're using it for the health benefits that I'm using it for. It's organic raw apple cider vinegar and I do have a video on this if you want to have or if you want to know more information than just what I'm telling you right now, I will post that link below so you can watch it. This has tons of health benefits. It works really great for um, like when you're hungry and you, it helps control your hunger basically. Has a lot of other great benefits. So if you want more information on this, I'll post it below. And then also just drinking a glass of water when you first wake up, wakes up your body, gets your metabolism going, and um, it just gives you more energy and gets you ready for the day. So um, before I even have my coffee or anything like that, I do that. Also, Sunday is my meal prep day. I notice when I have food on hand, I'm more likely to eat better than when I'm just hungry and I want something right now. I make better choices when I have food that's ready. So what I do on Sundays usually is I will make some boiled eggs and eggs are really good because they have a lot of protein and they have fat and I don't think they have any carbs which is really good. Um, protein is energy. Um, you want to eat protein because protein is going to keep you satisfied longer. If you eat sugary foods in the morning you're going to have a lot of energy right away but then you're going to crash. With protein you're just going to have, um, you're going to feel full longer because it takes your body longer to digest it and it's going to make you feel less hungry. So I start off by eating protein and then I also make um, chicken breasts. I just bake it. I try to get the organic um, chicken. It's so much better for you and it tastes so much better. So I'll do that. I will just cook it plain because when I eat it cold, I don't like to have like a bunch of spices. Um, it just tastes better to me when it's cold if I just cook it plain. I put a little bit of olive oil and that's it. And then I'll put it in the fridge and then um, put it in like a sandwich bag or like Tupperware and I take that to work with me. Also, another thing that I've been eating as a snack, and this is like the best snack ever. It might sound kind of weird, but it's so good. But I'll eat a Granny Smith apple. This one is just a small one. I'll just cut it in slices, and I eat it with um, about two tablespoons of the Adams 100% natural peanut butter. And I like the country country crunchy peanut butter and this combination they have to be granny smith apples and crunchy peanut butter it tastes so good and it keeps me full for a really long time because the peanut butter has protein in it and the apple has a lot of fiber so it's just really good for you it takes longer for your body to digest so it just keeps you full longer it really is satisfying and to me it tastes better than eating like a candy bar or something bad it's so good you have to try that if you've never tried it Sounds crazy, like a crazy combination, but it's so good. 
and um, also making sure I just drink a lot of water throughout the day. Eating every couple of hours helps and trying to eat protein with whatever you're eating is going to help, you know, keeping you feeling full. Um, the biggest problem I have is sweets. So when I eat more protein and less sweets, I'm less likely to crave those bad foods. And so just keeping, you know, food on hand is really, really helpful. So those are just a few things that I've been eating. And I've been going to the gym more. I've been doing a lot of stairs and like the actual stair climber at the gym. It it works your leg muscles so much and also another thing that I've been doing is going into the sauna. Um, I try to drink a whole bunch of water and then go in the sauna and just sweat all the impurities out and then just making sure to rehydrate um, and actually also higher is your heart rate so when you're in there you're actually burning calories. I wore my um, what is that called? I wore my polar watch in the sauna just to see if you do burn calories. I've always wondered that, like, do you actually lose weight or burn calories in the sauna? And you actually do because it does higher your heart rate. And I think my heart rate was higher while I was in the sauna. And the 15 minutes that I was in there, it was either 15 or 20 minutes, I burned like 100 calories. So you're sweating out all the toxins and your... Um, you're also raising your heart rate. So it was really good. Be careful though. You don't want to spend too much time in there. Um, usually I go in for about 15 minutes and that's enough. Um, but make sure you stay really hydrated. I, I make sure to drink tons of water. And that's kind of all that I've been doing. Um, just making healthier choices. Making it like a more of a lifestyle change. I know that this is something that I want to continue. So I'm going to choose foods that I like. And I'm not going to... Um, keep anything away like if I I don't crave like the bad foods that I was before if I do have a craving I'll have something like if I want ice cream you know as long as it's like once a week and not every day it's totally fine to have those type of foods okay so that's what I've been doing um and now I'm going to move on to my other favorites for the month. So it's the middle of March and I probably have should have done my February favorites by now but I'm kind of late on that but I'm going to show you anyway. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette. And I love this for contouring and highlight. I did do a video um, how I use this palette, but it's great. It has three different shades for contouring. And these are really nice. Um, they blend really well. And then there's three highlight shades. I've been using this one right here, this peachy shade for eyeshadow and um, these other two shades for highlighting, like just highlighting different areas of my face. These top shades are a little bit powdery when I use my brush. They have like a lot of like, they're just really powdery, but it works great for what I use them for because I will like mix these two shades, put it on, let it set, and then I will just wipe the rest away, any product that's still on there, any powder, I just wipe it away. So it works really great for that. But I love this. I think the shades are really nice in here. I think that the powder is really nice and silky and it just, I love this palette. So another thing from Kat Von D that I've been loving is the tattoo liner and this is in the shade Trooper. And I'm always looking for these liners that are really easy to use and you can take them with you for on the go. And the great thing that I like about this one is that the, the tip is actually a brush. So it's not a felt tip. I feel like you get more product. Like with the felt tip liner, sometimes I have to go over it a few times and with this I feel like all of the product is going onto my wherever I'm putting it instead of staying in the felt tip if that makes any sense um, but this is great it is like a shinier liner but I really like that when I use like the matte liners I feel like they kind of blend in with everything and I really like for my liner to be really crisp and like noticeable like I like a winged liner that you can actually see um, so I really, really like this. Another thing that I've been loving is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. And this is awesome. It's just a very subtle highlight. Just gives your face that perfect glow. And I really like, for my skin tone right now, this one on the end. 
This one is the Radiant Light, I believe. It's a little bit darker, but it's just so pretty. In the sun, it does have like a little bit of like sparkles, but it looks like diamonds. It's just so, so pretty. And then another thing that I've been using a ton of lately is Love Cloud from MAC. It's just a really pretty, nice pink. Um, I think it's great for spring. And I've also been wearing my snob lipstick from MAC and I think it goes really well with that blush. I didn't have that ready but it's just a really nice pale pink. It's a satin and I love satin lipsticks from MAC. And I've also been loving my Sonic Clear from Michael Todd. This is replacing my Clarisonic. It's like half the cost and it works it has different speeds on it so I just think this is amazing I did um, do a skincare video that I will also link below if you're interested in seeing how I use this and seeing what I think of it it's amazing um, same thing as the Clarisonic just like half the cost it's awesome and also I've been loving the hemp um, this is from Sally's their thing that I love about this is that it smells amazing and it makes your skin so soft like it just smells really, really good. Um, it's a really good lotion, and my skin's been kind of dry lately, so it's just awesome. I love this. If you have not tried this, you need to try it because it just smells so good. It's so soft and silky, and I just love it. Okay, last is my curling wand. Um, usually, I wear my hair straight, but sometimes I do like to have like that beachy wave look. And this is the Irresistible Me Sapphire Wand. This is an 8-in-1 wand, so you can choose whatever um, size wand you want, and you can just change it out. I really like Irresistible Me hair extensions. They're my favorite hair extensions. Um, so I really trust their products, and this one is awesome. It's not super, it is a lightweight iron, but it's not so lightweight that it feels like it's kind of like cheap. It it has a little bit of weight to it, but it doesn't make your arm tired when you're using it. And the great thing about this is that it comes in a kit like this, and it has all of your different wands in it. I really like this because some of the other wands that I have that are more than one are, come in these huge boxes. They take up a lot of space and this one's just really nice. You can just um, keep it in this little roll and tuck it away and it doesn't take up a lot of room. I will do a more in-depth video on that later but I've been absolutely loving this. It has a heat setting so you can control what the temperature is which I really like. Um, I do have another flat another curling wand that I use that um, doesn't have a heat setting and it gets super hot. It works really great but it always like I can only use it for a couple days because it will burn my hair. And also I like it because it has a little tip on the end like the regular curling irons do so you don't burn your fingers. You can actually use it and it's a clipless wand but you can hold on to the end of it so you don't burn your hands even though I've used one of these so many times I always end up burning myself and so it's really great to have that little tip on there that you can grab onto. so I definitely recommend that um, and I think that's it for my current favorites if you guys have any other questions about like health and fitness or anything like that please ask below and I'll try to help you or answer your questions and I appreciate you guys watching thank you so much and I will see you soon Bye.